Yes, we are back. Back again in Train Sim World 4. Back again to look at a new route. Well, a new train from a new route. Yes, this time it's London Overground, Barking Riverside to Gospel Oak. We're going to do the train training in the train on the 710 and see what it's like. Grab that guidebook to all things new in London and let's go. So hi there, Steve here, and yes, welcome back to Train Sim World 4. If you're new to my content, or even if you're not, then welcome indeed. Uh, this going out on a Monday, uh, because that's when I'm allowed to put it out. Uh, and uh, just want to say, at the very beginning of this, on the day this release is on YouTube, I will be streaming this route the same evening over on Twitch, uh, the day before it releases uh, to everybody in the public. Um, so check out the links in the description below to a Twitch page uh, where you can watch me live on Twitch. There'll also be a link down there to where you can get this route from and a link down there to my Discord server as well. As always, a huge thank you uh, to Dovetail for allowing me to be part of the Ambassador program, uh, a role which I'm very proud and thankful of, uh, which allows me to bring this to you early. Uh, so yes, we will look at the route. Uh, there it is. I've not played it. I've not seen any content of it. This will be my first look at the train and then I'm going to record uh, a little trip in it, which will be my first look at the trip. So you'll see that uh, maybe tomorrow. Um, so yes, let's click on the train training then. Um, we'll go to the training center. Uh, we'll scroll down here and the 710, uh, the introduction and we'll get started. I've got no idea what this is going to be like. I always uh, have my first looks be the first look you see. So I've seen nothing on this. Uh, no idea what to expect. Uh, we'll find out any second, I'm guessing. In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive the BR Class 710-2 Aventra electric multiple unit. During this brief introduction, you'll be taken through the critical driving controls and performing passenger operations. When you're ready, climb aboard. Well, it looks good. Having been on the trains, uh, it, it, it looks like a train. Uh, let's get on board. Oh, that's the thing. We close the door. Take a seat in the driver's position so that you can prepare the train for service. Oh, that's a door. For this introduction, you'll be completing a full loop of the circuit and performing passenger operations when you reach the next stop. Okay. Prepare the train for departure. I can do that. To unlock the control desk, you'll need to insert and set the master key. The reverser is used to determine the direction of travel. Into forward. Oh, into secure. Okay. Uh, press the AC system select button. And then press the pantograph up button. That's going to put a pantograph To begin up. loading passengers, you will need to open the passenger doors. Well, it's helpful, otherwise they've got a brake climbing through the windows. We have doors. Oh, doors are opening. There are doors. Doors, which means people can get on and off the trains. Useful. Oh, that's horny. It's quite loud inside. I quite like that. Got no lights on the front. I'm guessing it's going to tell me to do that. Where are they? Fan speed on auto, fan temperature, tail lights on auto, headlight marker lights off. We'll see if it actually tells me to do those. It's time to depart. Close the passenger doors. Set the ah. headlights, as this will let others around you know that this train is on. There you go. Like my uh, lights on day. Set the reverse it into forward. This train features a combined power and brake handle, so to get the train moving, move the handle into the power range. Okay. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm 
There was slow acceleration, which is my fault. Let's give it the beans. Coasting is a method used to efficiently maintain speed and reduce motor stress and maintenance required. Okay, going to coast. Keeping to speed limits is important. If you begin over speeding, apply a small amount of braking force by moving the power handle into the braking range. First entering service in May 2019, the BR Class 710-2s were built by Bombardier Transportation for use on the London Overground Network. In 2012, Transport for London announced its plans to produce a new fleet of diesel multiple units as the Class 172s in service at the time were unable to handle the passenger demand, resulting in overcrowding throughout the day. This plan was shelved in June 2013 when the government announced that the Gospel Oak to Barking Line would be electrified and Transport for London refocused its efforts on buying a fleet of new electric multiple units. In July 2015, Transport for London announced that it had placed a £260 million order for 45 four-car Bombardier Aventra EMUs with an option for 24 more. These units came in two variants, a dual-voltage version designed for the Watford DC and Gospel Oak to Barking services, and an AC-only version with longitudinal and transverse seating. The Class 710-2 has a top speed of 75 miles per hour, or 121 kilometers per hour, and a maximum carrying capacity of 678 passengers. Yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. That's nice. Screen's a little bit dim. I'm guessing that's how they are in real life. Uh, liking the interior. We'll have a proper look round. Uh, the inside of the train when we come to do the stream um, but yeah I'm uh, I'm liking this I'm really liking the audio as well okay we'll see what it's like when it comes to stopping which we're going to do in a bit But yeah, I wasn't sure. I've been on the line, and I'm going to be going on the line again Well, the Saturday after this releases. I'm actually going to be doing the four-line run of Gospel Oak to Barking Riverside um, as a comparison. But, uh, yeah. I Good like... morning, Steve. I didn't catch that. Please say that again. Okay, my Amazon device has just decided to wake up. I don't know why. <laughs> You're now approaching the station, so prepare to slow down the train. Use the power handle to apply some braking force to bring the train to a gentle stop in the indicated position. For those that watch my live streams, you'll know that my Amazon device kicks in occasionally. It just proves also that I don't edit this stuff. I love my randomness sometimes. Brakes are good. Right, we'll stop at station. Now that the train has stopped, you can open the passenger doors. Oh, even the doors sound right. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. That's really good. Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train. And there we go. A uh, simple bit of uh, train training done. Uh, yeah, like that.
that that's very good looking forward to doing a full line run in that uh, as i said don't forget to check out the links in the description below uh, to where you can watch me live the same day this goes out on youtube i will be live in the evening on twitch doing the full line run from uh, gospel oak park in riverside and back again uh, i will create a couple more cheeky little videos uh, for the youtube people in case you can't watch that live so do check those out and yes really really looking forward to this one next week more new routes so stay tuned for that one as well uh, so there we go uh, more trains in world 4 to come lots of other stuff on the channel uh, a bit of a new boost for content for me uh, coming up over the next few months as well i will leave that there until the next time if you have been Thanks very much for watching.